It don't get no better than this. Just a very light rain from under the canopy. Fixing to put a uh, piece of meat on the smoker. Okay, so at this point, I have had these ribs on the smoker for uh, three hours. I put my rub on them and put them in the smoker, and I've just brought them to do step two. Step two, I move them to the roaster. I put them in a piece of aluminum foil in the middle of it, and then uh, I douse it with honey. Get your little honey on there. Get you a little shot of apple juice. And then we're gonna put some of my favorite stuff in the world on there. A little bit of apple cider vinegar. And just wrap it up. That's two full racks of ribs. They're just uh, an individual, individual little pieces. That's a half a rack cut up and sealed in a bag of aluminum foil. And then the aluminum foil is around the, the roaster just so if one of those busts, I don't have a mess. I can just clean up the, throw away the foil. I don't have to wash the pot. Now we're gonna turn it on 300 and leave it alone for two hours. And this is the last step. You, uh, take them out of that broiler that you've had them in it for a couple of hours and now they're just almost done I mean they're really done and all I'm doing now is putting them back over the coals this isn't a smoker this is just a kettle a kettle barbecue put some barbecue sauce on both sides of it flip it over do maybe 10 minutes on both sides just to caramelize that barbecue sauce Beautiful. Okay, here's the third flip, third and final flip. Both sides have already been docked with barbecue sauce. You can see the bones are all sticking out of the meat and they're trying to fall apart on me. Put that cover back on there and cook that for another five minutes. And Oh my goodness. Well, there they are. They've been sitting for about 10 minutes, ready to dig into. Everything's all gelled back into place. Beautiful. Mm -hmm.